Mm-hmm. Hello, everyone. It's uh, me again, and I'm going to tell you what's on my mind. So, <clears throat> today I will be talking about uh, stupid stuff um, I did as uh, when, I, when I was younger. Um, I'm technically not um, an adult yet. Um, so, yeah... So yeah, I'm technically not an adult, because I'm still 17, so this will just be, um, stupid stuff I did when I was younger, so, yeah. Um, one of the one major things, well, before we even start, um, I really hope you guys liked the first podcast, I was just kind of do it, like, trying to do it, um, you can listen to it. You can listen to this podcast on Spotify, um, Speaker, the um, website you're listening to now, Twitter. Uh, you can get you can listen to this podcast on my Twitter account and on my YouTube. So go check all of those out if you can find it. Um, good luck, because I can't like put descriptions in. I don't think so. So, jeez, where do I start? I did a lot of stupid stuff when I was a kid. Or, like, seeing stupid stuff when I was a kid. One of stupid... One of the stupid things that I did, I think, was way back... Um... When I used to live, where, before I moved, and I lived in Wiscasset, this small little town in Maine, um, I used to live in Wiscasset, and um, I remember... Um, I remember the. I think it was like one of the years we had a Wii, and um, I stayed up one time, um, and I was just so scared that like, I think I stayed up maybe like a minute after my bedtime, like because like my bedtime at the time was maybe like six. I don't know, like maybe seven. Um, I had a really reasonable bedtime for my age. Um, but it was, like, six or seven, I don't know what it was, um, but it was, it was early, you know, so, because I was a young kid, and I was, like, maybe, I don't know, five, at the time, it doesn't matter, okay, it doesn't matter, so, (laughs) um, I stayed up, and, um, like, a minute after my bedtime, and my parents hadn't said anything, I'm like, um, okay, I'm not supposed to be up, but I'm gonna stay up. So I was playing the Wii, and I don't think my parents realized that I hadn't gone to bed yet. Because how our house was set up, the TV was in the living room. Because I didn't have a TV in my room at the time, so. I don't think they realized I was still up and playing video games on the Wii. And my parents went to bed, like, super early for some reason. I don't know. I think it was because they were, like, really tired dealing with us. Um, And then just, it was about the time when my dad started working at the prison, but we'll get to that. Um, So I stayed up maybe, like, I don't know, 10 minutes. And then I realized that after, like, looking around... I realized that it was dark in my house. And it's like, I don't know, maybe... It's it's around daylight saving, so we, like, lost an hour. Um, so it's, like, 6 o'clock, and it's dark. So it's, like, I don't know, maybe 6, 10, and it's dark out. Like, really dark. And I'm looking around, 
And I'm like, um, hello? Like, in, like, imagine my voice and, like, a younger voice, you know? So I'm, like, looking around, and I realize that it's, like, really dark. and Because, again, it's, like, daylight savings. It gets, like, super ultra dark around 610. Um, so I'm looking around, and I realize that it's really dark. And we didn't have, like, a clock. The only thing that you could actually keep time with was... Um, a was a freaking the freaking oven you know so that's the only way you could um read time and i i knew how to read a clock at the time so thank god i mean like this was before 2007 so this was like before wide smartphones were like widely available you know so this was like pre-smartphones essentially um yeah th so this was like before smartphones like the most modern technology i think at the time was maybe an ipod and a flip phone so there wasn't much, essentially. So there wasn't much. So I'm looking around, and I check the time, and I see it's that it's like 6.10, and I'm like, oh, no. Because, you know, 10 minutes. I didn't know that 10 minutes was going to be, like, overly major. So we start freaking out, and I'm like, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. I am going to get in such trouble. Like, I'm freaking out, you know. So, um... I go over to, I sneak, I'm, I'm like sneaking, like I go tiptoeing past my mom, mom and dad's room, trying not to make a sound, I go check on my sister, and she's asleep, I don't know why I checked on my sister, but I'm about 99% sure I did, and I, I made sure she was asleep for some reason, I was like, Emma, Emma, Emma's my sister, and, um, and she doesn't respond, so I just slowly shut her door, I get in my room, I slowly close the door, and I'm lay. I'm not even laying in my bed, I don't think, I think I'm like sitting in my bed, and I'm like, what do I do now? Because I've never stayed up late, like, again, 10 minutes, I thought that was like major. So I'm like, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, and I'm like, maybe I should go to bed. So I, I cuddle up and stuff like that. I don't think I had a fan at the time. I don't think I did. Maybe I did, I don't know. Doesn't matter. So I cuddle up, you know, everything like that. And I wake up. Maybe, I don't know, hour and a half later. I go up. I had to go to the bathroom, so I get up. Go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom, go out to the kitchen, get something, get something, I don't know. And I realize what time it is. And I'm like, ooh, it's really late. I need to go to bed. Because, like, I don't know, I was like three, so. Maybe I was, I don't know, I was young, essentially. So, I'm like, oof, I really need to go to bed. So, I go back to my room, I shut the door, go to bed, and I wake up. It's the next day, so I wake up, and I start freaking out, because I think in my mind, I thought my parents knew that I woke up, so I was like, oh no, oh no, oh no, they're going to be so mad, they're going to be so pissed that I woke up, and um, I like kind of hinted at it, but I really didn't make it overly obvious, I was like, Hey, so were you guys, like, up and doing stuff last night? And they were like, no, did you hear something? I'm like, yeah, I thought I heard this, like, cat or something. So I got up, and I, like, looked around the house. Couldn't find anything. I think, um, at the time, my sister had this fucking stupid-ass mechanical cat that she had. It was an animatronic cat that my grandmother got her. 
um, for Christmas. And it was so annoying because I don't know what kind of sensor they put in it, but they put a button push in it. And I don't know if it had, like, settings or something. I don't know. But, like, every so often... You know when you go into Walmart and you pass by those babies in cribs that make a noise for some reason? Like, it has, like, a sensor in it. Like, um... A, like, fucking noise sensor or, like, um, a motion detector or something. I think it had that... I don't know, but I feel like it did. So we just go meow, meow, meow. It was it. Was, it sounded like a cat, you know. Um, eventually, she got rid of it because it was creeping everyone out, out in the house. So we we're like, get rid of it. She's like, no. I was like, too bad. So we got rid of it, mostly because it was like dead and she didn't want it anymore. So, anywho. I was like, so, did you guys, like, ever hear anything last night? And they were like, no, what do you mean? I was like, yeah, yeah, you know. So, yeah, I, I, I freaked out. I don't know why. Um, you know, one thing that was funny, uh, this is a story about my sister. Um, we get off the bus from school. We get in the house, my, we get in the house, um, doing something, I think we were playing outside, like, we, we relax for a little bit, we start go, we go outside, we play for a little bit, I think it was like a half day or something, our dad is watching us, and I'm, like, near, next to, like, this little tykes pool that we had, and my sister is like, uh, she starts crying, like, not, like, overly crying. Like, her eyes start tearing up and you can hear. Her. I'm like, what's wrong? She's, and I look over, and my sister is standing over a dead crow. And she's pointing to it. Her eyes are tearing up. And my dad is like, what happened? And I'm like... I'm just standing over a dead crow. I don't know. So he come, uh, yeah. So he comes with me, and um, my sister is in tears at this point. And my sister, being uh, she was little, so randomly told. I think it was either my dad or me, but she asked. I think it was my dad. And she was like. Can you? Can we bury it? And my dad looked at me, and I looked at my dad, and I'm, I'm like, I understood death at this point. Like, I knew what death was, and I'm like, I, like, put my hand on my face, and I started, like, shaking my head. I was like, oh, my God. Uh, my dad is like, go get the shovel. I'm like, okay. So I go get the shovel. Um, I was maybe like 10 at the time, so I go get the shovel, I dig a good-sized hole, we put, I, like, just take the shovel and just scoot the crow in there, I bury it, this was, like, in the woods, we bury it, we put some rocks on it, my sister says some words like an idiot, then we go back inside, uh, and then we go back to do, doing whatever we are doing. That was pretty, uh, stupid. <laughs> That's all true as well, so... That, that was... That was pretty funny. You know, in what I think was three years or so... Or however long I lived in was Cassett... I don't think I had any parties at my house. Like, any birthday parties, I mean, like, you know. Which is interesting. I don't think we had any parties at my, at my house, so. I remember we would always go to this playground 
at there was like this park right outside the high school like you get out of the high school and you you bang a right and you go down a little bit and there it is you know it's like right there um i maybe had a party at like the y maybe i don't know i don't remember but so that's where i remember doing most of my parties i may have i may have had like i don't know one or two friends at the time so they're like the okay Okay. So, yeah. We ne I never had a big party. My sister usually had a good sized party, so. I don't know if she took the dog or not. No, one other thing I remember doing as a kid. This isn't like, you know, overly stupid stuff. This is mostly like things I kid I did when I was, you know, younger. Um one of the things I remember doing is well, oh, well, this was actually really stupid. We would always do this, me and my sister. So, for some reason, the road we lived on was really, not, like, really busy, but, you know, busy enough. Like, there would be, like, logging trucks that would drive through. Um, there would be, like, cars and stuff. But, you know, it wasn't too busy. Um... I remember throwing rocks in the middle of the road. Like, our driveway wasn't, you know, tar. You know? Our driveway wasn't tar. So, we, we were throwing rocks, and I cannot tell you how many times we threw rocks... And our parents not telling us, and our parents telling us to stop throwing rocks, but we still did it. We were stupid little kids, so, um, there was one time, and we didn't throw rocks after this, there was one time we threw rocks, we were throwing rocks, and I think our dad was washing his car, or is our mom, I don't know, it doesn't matter. We were throwing rocks, and I think it was me. I hit this lady's car that was going by. So I hit her car. I didn't know I hit her car, but I hit her car. She comes rolling back, and she was Spanish. And the only reason I know that she was Spanish is because I, ha I didn't know a word she was saying. And I think she knew that I had no idea what we were, that she, that me and my sister had no idea what she was saying. Because, again, we were young. Like, we were super young. And I didn't know other languages. I only knew English. And I barely even spoke that. And she, like, spoke, like, maybe five words and drove off. And we never threw rocks in the road again. And I remember, well... Okay, so I need to preface this a little bit. One of the main reasons we threw rocks in the middle of the road is we always wanted to see if it would pop the 18-wheeler tires. I don't know why we thought that was a good idea, a idea that would be worth doing. I don't know, but apparently we thought it was a good idea. So we did it sometimes. And we've done it. Um, but yeah, we haven't done it after that. So, my mom, I think, yeah, I think it was my mom. My mom looks at me and she's like, You're lucky she's Spanish. And I'm like, What? And she's like, 
She's like, you're lucky she's Spanish. I'm like, what's Spanish? And she's like, it's a different language. And me being like, I don't know, fucking two at this point. Like, I, again, I didn't know what there was like another language. I'm like, there's more than one? I didn't like, <clears throat> my mind was fucking blown. I didn't know there was another language. I, I mean, I, I, was in, I was in elementary school. I was in third grade elementary. Do you really fucking think that they were teaching Spanish in elementary school? I didn't learn Spanish until middle school, and I still don't know it. I only know my name, some numbers, and some words. I don't know how to speak Spanish, the full Spanish alphabet, and all Spanish words to this day. Because I've only had to take Spanish once, and that's all the time I need, cause guess what, Spanish is not fun, I don't, I, I don't even believe I passed that class, I think I dropped out of it, I didn't go, that class was fucking stupid, like you're just teaching me Spanish, another language that I don't need to learn how to do, you know, so it was just like, why am I learning this? Why? Why do I need to learn a different language, you know? So, I don't know. I thought it was stupid, but, you know, people have learned and stuff, and, like, you know, there's, like, um... There's, like, translators and stuff like that, so... Yeah. What other stupid things did I do as a kid? One of the things I remember doing as a kid. So I have a double thumb. Well, not anymore. It's like I had a double thumb, essentially. Like I had two thumbs, but they cut the other thumb off. And now I just have, like, a weird fucked up thumb. Um, this was done, like, when I was, like, three. I, th I think it was done when I was, like, one. I was young. Um, anywho. Jump forward to middle school. Not middle school. Elementary. I remember one thing. I don't know if it was because it was fun but I knew it was fun to me. Um, I went and um, I would, a bunch of kids would huddle around me, right? And they would be like, yo, show it, show it, show it. I would just show them my hand and my thumb and they would be like, whoa. You know, they, would, they thought it was fucking cool because they had never seen anything like that. And, like, a couple girls, um, it was mostly girls that would chase around, um, like, I wasn't trying to be mean, they found it, like, I was like, yeah, are you sure you're cool with this, and they're like, yeah, 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 we're fine, so, I would always chase around girls, and even guys, you know, the, so, I would always take, I was always chase them around, they found it fun, I found it fun, so, yeah. It was fun. I would always chase them around, and they would chase me, and then it would all be fun, so. Um, one other thing relating to that is um, to get us lined up to get in from recess at the school is they had a megaphone, and the megaphone had a setting that was like a siren or something like that. I don't know. They would, like, announce something. Um, I had a really... Um, I still have, like, a really good voice. I can project things really good, and I can make my voice sound like it's coming out of a megaphone somehow. Um, it's really weird. So, I would... I think it was, like... It's time to go back inside. Come inside. Of course, I was, like, shouting this. And 
all the kids lined up, and I'm staring right in front of them, and I'm like, get wrecked, and they like, I mean, like, it, well, I didn't say, I didn't say get wrecked, I mean, like, that hasn't been said yet, and, and um, so they're like, really? I'm like, yep, suck it. One of the things I also remember doing when I was in elementary school is um, clearing out the sandboxes, like, fully. So, the sandboxes were, like, really weird, and, sh like, I don't know how to explain the sandbox. Imagine a fidget spinner on one metal pole as a sandbox. That's the one way I can explain the sandboxes at this elementary school. There was no sand... So, okay, there were, there were three of these. There was... Maybe there was two. There was one with sand and one without sand. The one with sand, you would actually go and, you know, play with, you know. And there was, like, sandboxes, too. But you would actually go and play in this, with this sandbox. Like, this little sand thing. Um, the other one didn't have sand. We had Beyblade battles there. Because that's when Beyblades were cool. We would have, jeez, I don't know, 10, 10 baby Beyblade battles a day at recess. Every time at recess, we would have 10 Beyblade battles. So, that was fun. Um, there wasn't much Pokemon and or Magic that I can remember. That was more middle school than anything. Um, no, nah, that was mostly camp. I remember going to summer camp and, like, because, you know, the nine times out of ten, you're not doing anything at summer camp, so you would just stay there and play some Pokemon, you know, or magic or something like that. Nine times out of ten, someone had Pokemon cards, someone had magic cards, you know, so you could, like, watch that stuff, you know, so. I remember one time, it was a half day. I think, and we were planning to watch a movie for, like, the whole day. Um, and, uh, I was a little kid, so, of course, I would do this. We were getting, like, we were putting movie suggestions in, and, like, we had to leave the movies with the teacher so she could watch him so you know there wasn't you know anything inappropriate that we didn't know we were talking about because you know we didn't know what sex was we didn't know what swearing was we didn't know that stuff so she she had to watch him you know to make sure they were like um pg and all that fun stuff and stuff like that so she watched all of them um or some of them she, like, had seen like I don't need to see that I don't need to see that like she's already seen them and knows um one of the movies, uh, well, one of the movies that I brought, it was, God, I think it was, like, A Turtle's Tale. Um, it's, like, this Finding Nemo thing. It's really weird. Um, I'm not going to explain the movie, but it's called A Turtle's Tale. It was an interesting movie. I think I still have it. I think. Um, but we were voting on the movie, and one of the movies was a Scooby-Doo movie. And I was an older kid. I really didn't like Scooby-Doo. I still don't. I don't like Scooby-Doo overly too much. I mean, it's good. I guess the premise is good. But, like, I don't know... The same thing over and over and over again. That was Scooby-Doo. I mean, like, not to hate on Scooby-Doo too much. I mean, I do semi-enjoy third... I do semi-enjoy Scooby-Doo. But, I don't know. It's just, like, something about it didn't really catch on for me. Uh, but it was a Scooby-Doo movie. And I was, like, ultra upset. Like, I, I think I was, like, crying about it. Like, not, like... Over, like, whining, but I was at least crying about it, so. I was kind of pissed about that, so. You know, I remember, um, 
we would have these like student of the month things, I guess you could call it. Um, and you could go up, you would get called, like, you would be like, oh, fuck, I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble. They would, like, be like, student of the month, uh, blah, 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 you know, and, like, I got it maybe, like, five times. What they would give you is one of those little sticky hands, you know, that you could stick on windows and stuff. The longest I kept one was maybe five days. Because they were not durable. Let me tell you, they were shit. If you've ever had one of those sticky hands that goes on windows and stuff, and you know what I'm talking about, then you probably know that they were shit, but they were fucking fun. I loved them. And that was the prize every time. I think it was like maybe like some... Other time, it was, like, some shitty McDonald's toy. But nine times out of ten, it was that sticky hand. So, that was awesome. And, uh, yeah. What is some other things I did as a kid? Oh, so, I'm not gonna tell you the name of this friend. But when I lived in Wiscasset... And, um, this was elementary school and all, everything like that. We would have naps in the middle of the day. You know? So, we would have naps and stuff like that. Um, one time, I actually, like, genuinely fell asleep. And my friend, who shall not be named, fell asleep, but fake fell asleep. Like, he told me, he was like, Hey, yo, I'm gonna fall asleep, but I'm gonna act like I fell asleep, you know? I was like, I'm not gonna, like... He, his plan, so we had, like, a, a study hall, essentially. Like, where we could just, like, have fun and, like, do activities and stuff like that. There was, like, a time like that. So... We... He planned it out... Pretty perfectly. Actually... And, um, he woke up, quote-unquote, woke up. Well, I actually woke up. Like, I genuinely fell asleep. I think I was, like, really tired. So I woke up, and, um, I was like, oof. It's like, and I'm like, yo, my friend is still asleep. And they were like, yeah, well, be quiet and stuff like that. So we were quiet for, like, the rest of the day. And um, it was, like, close to the last period. And um, he, the bell or whatever rings, and he wakes up. Like, you could tell that he was not asleep. And we were like, we were like, nah, dude, nah, 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 you didn't fall, you didn't, like, sleep or anything, you weren't, like, taking a nap or anything. So, he had to do all the work he missed, and I kind of made fun of him, but I'm like, well, you made it way too obvious that you weren't asleep, you know, so. That's what he got. I would love to go back to the school, I mean, like, you can't, I don't think you can get in it. Like, at all. Like, that school's not even functional anymore. I would love to, like, go through it and, you know, see what's in it. And stuff like that, so. That would be cool. Um, so, you know. Well, I think that does it for, um, this episode of Eric T Tells You What's On His Mind. Um, thank you, everybody. <laughs> thank you, everybody, so much for, uh, listening to, um... Eric tells you what's on his mind podcast. Um, I will be back eventually to tell you another tale of woe.